us if you can guess what the bike is. Oh, oh look, it's in the background. Whoa! You're not even in a trail. Oh. You're funny. She's, she already fell. I, what? <laughs> All right, welcome back party people. Today's an exciting day because it is new bike day. Fun, fun, fun. So first we're gonna talk just a little bit about the bike. We're not gonna go into the gory details about the technical specifications of the bike. We're gonna talk a little bit about it and we're gonna put it on the scale, figure out how much it weighs, and then we're gonna go out to the trail. We've got new riders, they are beginners, and so we're gonna play a game of can they clear it. I'm gonna lead them through different obstacles on the mountain bike trails to see if they can clear those obstacles. Stay tuned. And what we have here is a Trek Marlin 6 hardtail, and uh, it is a women's specific design. Notice the curve in the top tube here. Gives you good low standover height. Now this is a small frame and the riders that will be on this bike are in between 5'1 and 5'2. So having said that, we tested a extra small frame as well as a small frame. And after going uh, to multiple models of this bike and even the men's version of this bike, we chose not to go with the extra small frame. Uh, the height was right on the cusp, so we went with the small frame. We had the rider ride on a test track. Uh, she felt more comfortable on the small frame, and I think that's one thing as a new rider that you should take in consideration. Get as large as a frame as you feel comfortable on because a longer frame, a larger frame is gonna be more stable on the trail. Let's talk a little bit about technical specifications on this bike. 27.5 inch wheels on the front and the rear. Standard Bunt Rager XR2 tires. These are not tubeless. We have a Shimano Hyperglide HD Mega Range 34T cassette on the bike and so it's a eight speed cassette and has a shimano altus shifter on it the front is a two speed hyperdrive chain ring so we have a two by eight system 73 millimeter bottom bracket standard shimano cranks and the bun trigger stuff that comes on the the bike like the women's specific seat with the cutout we've got these uh, extra kind of palm grips here where you kind of rest your palm on this is the one thing i don't like about this bike that it is a straight steerer head tube i would rather it have a tapered steer where i could actually swap out some of the parts i already have to upgrade the fork on it this is a uh, sun tour front fork and it's 100 millimeter travel and it is a coal spring fork and not an air fork standard type shimano shifters up here on the front there is internal routing so it is run through the bottom of the down tube and exits here it has tectro hydraulic brakes both front and rear disc and standard 160 millimeter rotors on the front and the back uh, the other thing I don't not necessarily like about this bike is it is QR, and this is what you get at this price point, right? So it, uh, the, the rear and the front are quick release, so most of my setup in the van was all threaded axle based. I think these are the kickstand mount, and I think these particular areas here are for uh, racks that you can put on if you want to do like a commuter scenario. And there's your Marlin 6 insignia. If you look closely on the chain stays, you can see the Marlin in frame size there. Let's put her on the scale and see how much she weighs. All right, so we've got the bike up on the scale here. And this again is a small frame, 31 pounds, 10 ounces, 14.34 kilograms. Let's take this baby out to the trail and let's play a game of can they clear it? Bear with me here while I try to connect this thing. Shouldn't be too long. I don't remember being this hard. <laughs> There we go. You got everything, G Money. Mm -hmm. All right, girls. Where are you? Where are you at? You're not even in a trail. Oh. You're funny. <laughs> she, she already fell. <laughs> you, you're in the wild blue yonder. There's no trail there, girl. I caught the first fall already. We got the crew out here today. Got the whole crew and the front rider is on a single speed, so I feel for her leg. Take a right. You got it. Holy. Holy. 
So today we're gonna to play a little game called Can They Clear It? So we're gonna, we got some beginner riders here. So we're just gonna ride this trail and see if they can clear everything out here. This is a beginner to intermediate. I fixed it. G Money, how you doing back there? Seat, all right, seat height okay? All right, we got Speedy Gonzalez in front of us. She gone. Favorite ditch for you. Yeah. Nice. All right, obstacle number one's cleared. We got it. Well, <laughs> beginner rule, we got to go beginner because of me. Is my light blinking? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when it doesn't blink, okay? <laughs> you think I can see that? No. This is, there's a section on this side of the road. It's kind of a warm up and then we'll go across the road and do the uh, intermediate if you guys feel like it. Pumping already this morning. It's a good warm up section. Yeah, this is the uh, tight tree section. Look at that. Oh, I think I caught that one. We have our first crash right into the tree. It's your favorite, tight trees. This whole section is tight. Yeah, it wasn't a fall, it was just a tree jumped out in front of her. <laughs> You're gonna learn to stand up. You got a lot of roots through here. <laughs> You're gonna have a sore. Sore butt. Tight trees. Nice. Nice job, G. So easy now. She cleared it. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Wow. Nice. Nice. Somebody's out there fishing. Ooh. Ooh. Ru 
Rudy McRoot. So far, so good. Dude. Nice. <sighs> Professi now. Those of you that you don't recall, the bike in front of me is my 2019 Commissar Absolute Dirt Jumper bike. And she's been riding that, and it's a single speed, so I gotta give her props. She's been driving, riding that thing around on these. So momentum is key. I did. You did that bridge? Yeah. Oh wow. This one already? Huh? All right. Get your momentum up and just ride right over it. Again? Yeah, just this bridge here. Look at that. Yeah, you got it. It's easy. It's not high like the other ones. You okay? You can walk it right across. <laughs> See, it got in your head. That's the fifth obstacle so far. My Doing good. It almost passed all over. There you go. You got it. Look at that. Really? Uh, expert. Expert level. Yeah. Expert level. I'm wearing a front and a back camera in case oh, it's goodness. not apparent. What? Yeah, she's kicking butt on that single speed. Go, girl. She's on the trail. Just follow the trail around. It'll go where she's going. Oh, too much? Yeah, this is kind of a recovery ride for me. My, uh, really the first week back for mountain biking. And, uh, it's been five days in a row. Eight miles plus. So I'm starting to feel it a little bit myself. Go G, pedal, pedal. Got a little heel. E, e. Give it all you got. That's common. Spam phone call in the middle of the woods. My hands are not free. Pump it, G, pump it. I want to thank everybody for their support watching the videos, whether it's us biking or hiking or whatever. I really appreciate it. We passed 240,000 minutes view time for the past year, which is awesome. We're just trying to get that subscriber number up to over a thousand. And then we'll do a giveaway. And I'll probably start doing some live streams once we get enough subscriber base. I didn't want to start live streams without a big subscriber base because there's no point if only two or three people are going to pop on. Nice job, G. Why is she You sure you don't want your seat up some? It looks like that's hurting your knees. <sighs> My uh, red but red light sibling. Yes, too. Okay. Red. Where'd she go? Oh fine. my gosh, she doesn't want to stop. Crazy. All right. When we get when we get up here to the road, we'll take a little water break, and if you want to adjust your seat, you can. Adjust your seat, you can. So for all you beginners that are watching this, you're going to run into the same types of issues, right? If you stop on a hill and you're not in the right gear, or even if you are in the right gear, 
<laughs> it's hard to get your momentum going when it's you and the bike unless you've got some experience you can see her spinning her pedals around so she can get maximum torque so they they learn so quickly when they're beginners and if you can help it don't stop on the hill i know it's hard sometimes but if you do stop on the hill you're going to run into that kind of situation the other thing i can say too from experience you're better off riding off and down things and pushing the bike down it than let the bike drag you down it and a lot of times i see riders they'll come up to a ditch crossing or a downhill section and they'll they'll just peek over the top of it with their feet down and try to walk the bike down and that almost always ends in disaster because what happens is you start pulling the bike down then the bike starts pulling you down and the next thing you know the pedals are hitting you in the back of the leg that stops the bike momentum it flips the rear tire over the front tire so you do an endo it's not a good situation so i try to without being a mr commander i try to kind of give some pointers because i saw both of them try to do that and that's probably okay on a slight hill but if you're gonna do anything steep push that bike off with confidence and if you don't have the confidence don't go down it <laughs> that front wheel and that dirt jumper all why it has some traction it does not have side knobbies on it so it slides out easy so i'm impressed at the way she's managing her weight on that bike and not washing out as much did you make it across yeah. nice yeah. you're a professional <laughs> professional almost we're almost to the brake section almost there almost yeah I didn't get enough speed. Let's see if she does the jump. You jump it? <laughs> you jump the ramp? No, I do a side. <laughs> Yeah, water break right now. Then we'll go across the road. It's a little bit more fun over there. Go uh, right when you get in. Tired. I can't even manual. What? Way to go, G. Way to go. Look at my face on water. <laughs> yeah. Need some windshield wipers. Oh. All right, she cleared it. She cleared it. She gone. Gonna get muddy. <laughs> nice. Clear that one. All 
uh, uh, right, uh, straight. Yeah, straight. Off the shelf. Yeah. Dang it, and I missed it. You alright? Grr. Those roots got you, huh? <laughs> How come I'm never there at the right time to catch that? Gee. Oh, he just leaned it over because he had run out of momentum. Oh, my back is there. I just want to try it. No, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. My goodness. Grr. Are you, where are you going? <laughs> my, the bike I tried to go the one way. My back will go <laughs> That's funny. This is the first time I've been out here in a while. They changed that section. It used to be just straight up. Running out of battery. Already? Yeah, I only charged it a little bit this morning because it was last minute. I just ride in the back sometimes. I'll go back and ride behind you and I'll come up to the middle, ride behind her. Watch out, there's a hole there. I just found it for everybody. <laughs> it's all you and that's how Scott's fall. <laughs> Yeah, not even by it. When I fall, you'll hear it. Bush. You'll hear the ground go boom, and then you'll hear all the air I come out of my stomach. Uh! All the Dalamji will wrap. All the Dalamji. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I... What? <laughs> That's another one I didn't catch? What in the crap? 